So you want a Medicare supplement, but you can't afford those high premiums? Hi, I'm Jessica Mannion at My Healthcare Direct, and in this video, I'm going to be going over a Medicare supplement option for those of you who want the flexibility of a supplement, but don't have the funds to purchase a plan G or an N. If you are one of those people, an option you might want to consider is a high deductible plan. For Medicare, those plans are high deductible F and the high deductible G plan. So what is a high deductible plan? The Medicare high deductible plan is one in which you have a $2,340 deductible that you are responsible for paying before you are covered like the plan F or the plan G. This is also considered your out of pocket max because this is the most that you would spend in one calendar year for Medicare approved costs. How does a high deductible plan work? Basically how it works is sort of like traditional insurance where you're responsible for paying your Part A and Part B deductibles before Medicare starts sharing the cost of your medical expenses. In this case, they will pay 80% of the cost and you will pay 20% of the cost. Once you reach that magic number of $2,340, then you are covered just like the full Plan F or the Plan G. Can I still buy the high deductible F plan if I'm Medicare eligible after January 1st? In short, the answer is no. If you become Medicare eligible after January 1st, 2020, you are no longer eligible to purchase the high deductible F plan. However, you can still purchase the high deductible G plan. What is the difference between a high deductible F plan and a high deductible G plan? The good news is, as of now, there's not much difference between the two types of plans. They both currently have the same deductible of $2,340 in 2020 that you have to meet before you receive the full benefits of having, say, a Plan F or a Plan G for the rest of that calendar year. So what are the Medicare deductibles that you have to pay? With original Medicare, both parts A and B have their own separate deductibles that you're responsible for meeting before Medicare starts to pay their share. For Part A, which is your hospitalization, currently in 2020, that deductible is $1,408. And for Part B, the current deductible is $198. Once those amounts are met, Medicare will pay 80% of the remaining costs and you will be responsible for the remaining 20%. Does paying the Part A and Part B deductible contribute to the high deductible plan? The answer is yes. Those amounts do contribute to the $2,340 deductible. Does the high deductible plan have a large monthly premium? Because there is more responsibility on you to help pay for medical expenses before the supplement kicks in, the good news is that most of these high deductible plans are typically lower than plans such as the Plan G or the Plan N. And in some cases, it can be less than $100 a month. So it can be a very affordable option. If you have any more questions on if a high deductible plan is best for you, or if you're interested in learning what the costs are in your area, feel free to give our office a call at 888-959-1028 or check out our website at www.myhealthcaredirect.com.